Hello and welcome to this installment of the Chameleon 20 series. Today we're going to take a look at the library application. There's a bunch of different ways to read books on this Chameleon device. One of them is by loading the books or the files onto an SD card and placing it in the SD card holder and opening them that way. You can also download them directly from Bookshare using the online services. Honestly, we're not going to do that right now. We're just going to look at how it looks to navigate a file that's already there. So what I had done is I grabbed a book off a of Bookshare and I put it on here. And this is the same book that we have been dealing with in the last few installments of the series. It's the Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about what kinds of books this takes. So Bookshare books can come in a variety of formats and this device can open a variety of formats. It can open a BRF, a PEF, a HTML, DOCX, RTF, and it can also manage uh, zip files. So that's kind of good to know. So now um, I am focused, and let me just get myself in the main menu here real quick. So now I'm focused on the editor, which is the first item in our main menu. I can navigate to the library by pressing the letter L or by navigating there using my previous and next thumb keys on the front of the unit. I'm just gonna press the letter L and it took me right to library and I'm gonna press enter, perfect. So now I'm placed in a uh, sort of a menu area. I have a couple of options and there's, there's four of them. So the first one is my book list. I could open this area and it'll open um, my books in whatever order I, I have, probably alphabetical. Or I can hit my next thumb key and I can choose to open books based on the ones I have recently read. I don't wanna do that either. So I'm gonna hit my next thumb key. I can also search for books. Um, if I have a whole slew of them downloaded on here, I can just look for a specific one. Um, this last item is uh, close application. So if I was in here by mistake and I could get out pretty easily, I'm going to hit my next thumb key again to go right back to the top here. And I'm gonna open my books list. Oops, except for I'm gonna actually hit enter, not um, the wrong key. So here I have Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone is, is uh, underlined and is highlighted here. It's, like I said, the only book on here. So I could press a route, cursor routing or an enter key to open it. It takes about 10 seconds to open. It'll say loading. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, loading, yep, here we go. So sometimes what it'll do is it'll, um, it won't always open like at the very top. Sometimes it'll stick you in like a, a blank line. Don't worry, you, if you use a Braille Display Advance command, it'll show up. And I don't know why it does that exactly, it just does um, sometimes, and I'm, I'm really not entirely sure exactly why. So, here we are at the beginning part of this book, and um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the different elements that we can navigate the book by. We're going to do a space and the letter T, Oops, there we go. So this will um, let us choose how we want to navigate our book. Uh, it's the first option is level one. And if I, to go to the next one, I'm gonna press my uh, next thumb key and here's level two. And then here's another option is paragraph, line, sentence, or bookmark or close if I accidentally got in there. So I'm gonna come back around to the top here, back to level one. Level one is the largest navigation element, so you let navigate by the largest piece, the largest chunk. I found out uh, recently that this book is navigated at level one. Basically, it takes you to the end or to the beginning of the book. That's really not helpful for my choice, for my options here. So I'm going to press the next thumb key and it says level two, and this is the level I want to navigate. This is usually where you're gonna find your chapter level navigation, sometimes it's sections, but you'll get to know each book and how it's broken up. It is gonna vary book by book. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit a cursor routing key, and it takes me right back to where I left off. The difference is that now, if I press the next navigation button here, it will take me forward by level two. 
again, it sticks me in that blank line, which is super annoying. But if I hit it advanced my braille display a little bit, it'll um, it'll advance me a little bit and it'll uh, give me some information about where I am. So again, I can press that level to forward a couple of times. I'm just gonna press it like a bunch of times and press my um, advance. And here we go, Harry, wow, Harry Potter again. So we just, just wanna go a couple more times. And, oh, here we go. We are on, it says, oops, it says chapter three. We went a little far. So we're just gonna go back two levels using our previous thumb key. And let's see, here we go. Chapter, chapter one, yay. The boy who lived and this is what we want. So as you can see, I navigated by my heading level two. If I hadn't done any like pre-exploration of this before doing this video, uh, I might not have known exactly what the heading levels exactly were. For example, I wouldn't know that having heading level one took me back and forth by the, the beginning and the end of the book. Wouldn't have, have known that. So your headings uh, remember, are going to vary. A lot of people prefer like to go by, by paragraph. If I'm in here, in this chapter, and I just do a space plus a T, and here you go, level two. I just want to go by paragraph. I can change that navigation level and hit that um, enter. And here we go, chapter one. And I can just pop forward by paragraph. Again, remember you've got to you've got to hit that advanced display to kind of pick exactly where you are, and this is just going to be the skimming, um, the skimming element of how to to get through that book. And of course, you could do sentence, line, all of that stuff as well. The last thing we're going to look at, or maybe the second to last, we'll see, is navigating by page, heading, percentage, or bookmark. Now. I don't know why this isn't all together in the same menu, but um, if you are looking for a specific page, heading, uh, percentage, or bookmark, you can enter that text. So it's really, I guess that maybe that answers my question about why it's not in the, the, other, the other, um, other menu. So I can do that by hitting an enter and the letter G. For like, we're just gonna pretend it means go. So enter G and we can choose heading we can choose uh, percentage, we can choose uh, bookmark, or we can choose to close. So I'm going to go to heading and I'm gonna press enter. This is weird and I don't know why, because headings, um, you if you wanna go to a specific heading number, you need to press the number sign. Oops, it helps if it's actually the number sign. There we go. So number sign and then the heading number. So I'm just gonna put 21 and hit enter and it's gonna tell me heading 21. And uh, I'm just gonna just use my reading keys and there it is, it just took me to have the heading 21 and read me through. I'm gonna go back to the top of the file for no apparent reason here. Uh, just to try that again to show you um, again. So I'm gonna do that enter G and it's gonna ask me heading, percentage, bookmark, yada, yada. So I'm gonna hit percentage, I'm gonna hit enter, and it's gonna give me that, that blank sort of spot. I'm gonna put 50. And here it goes, it stuck me to the 50% mark of this book, and here I am. Perfect. So I can just use my reading keys to get through it. Here it is. Yep. And that's that. You might want to also know, find where you are in a book. And uh, that's probably the last thing we're gonna talk about today. So the where am I command. You need to know or want to know where you are. If you press dots one, five, six, and if you're, you're thinking about this, it's the WH sign, so where, I can do space and then WH, and it's going to tell me I'm on heading 14, um, percentage of 
and then I can close it. So I'm using my reading keys to, to access that information. So if I went a bunch forward here and I can't remember what navigation key I was using and I'm just pressing forward, just just mosey on along, along. So I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna do a space plus one, five, six, or the WH sign. And it's gonna tell me I'm on heading, ooh, I'm on a different heading this time. I'm on heading 16. And I'm going to keep going percentage. I am in, uh, wow, I'm still only 50% of the way through the book. I thought I really popped ahead there, but you know, maybe not. And then close. So it's a read-only dialog box, but that's also very helpful. It's good to know how far on into a book you are and exactly where you're located. So I hope this has been helpful for you. Please um, feel free to uh, subscribe to our channel and, and uh, have a great day.